Shadow people are creatures of supernatural origin, appearing as dark forms in the periphery of vision, and then vanishing when noticed. These are not ghost sightings. Shadow people may be stepping into our universe from another dimension. They do not attempt to communicate, and witnesses do not express the belief that a shadow man was ever a man. In 1997, Adam Harris and his older cousin Lucas were both working the same shift at a one-star hotel in southeast London. Adam never had any belief in the supernatural. One night when walking home from work at 1 a.m., he and his cousin took a shortcut. They could save 10 minutes if they did not have to go around the Aylesbury estate. The Aylesbury is council housing, what is known in the United States as a housing project. The newspapers gave it the name Hell's Waiting Room. One part of the route across the property was a pedestrian underpass. The two young men had never taken this shortcut in the dark. The tunnel should have had lights. Some vandal must have broken them, or maybe the electrical conduit was severed. But it was only about 100 feet long. They could see brightly lit pavement at the end of the tunnel. Reaching the middle of the passage, a great feeling of dread came over both young men, and they stopped in their tracks. Then came the sound. A deafening howl of anguish filled the chamber. They covered their ears and lowered their heads. When again they looked up, they saw the shadow being at the end of the tunnel. It was silhouetted against the outside light, and the shape of it was vaguely human. The two young men were frozen to the spot. Rather than walking towards them, the shadow man began to glide in their direction. It was moving fast, and it was blocking the exit, as well as blocking their only source of light. Lucas grabbed Adam by the arm, turning him around, and they both ran back the way they had come. But there was no illumination at that end of the tunnel. They careened off concrete walls in the darkness. After what seemed like an eternity, they felt a breeze. The night air was cold. They exited the underpass and did not stop running until reaching Lucas's house. They did succeed in cutting 10 minutes off the trip. Cody Lilly has been visited for years by one particular shadow man, featureless except for the outline of a 10 gallon hat and fiery red eyes. He called it the cowboy because it looked like the Marlboro Man. The cowboy first appeared to Cody while he was still in high school in Iowa. The first time he saw the being, he was completely incapacitated by fear. It visited him almost nightly for two years, moving from one side of his room to the other. It never spoke and never approached him, but Cody knew it was hungry. It was feeding on his terror. When Cody went to college, the visitation ceased. After graduating in 2011, he moved to Nebraska. One day his car would not start. He didn't know anything about cars, but his mother did. Still sitting behind the wheel, Cody called his mother on a cell phone. But he noticed movement on the passenger side. And in full daylight, again he saw the Shadow Man, who once tormented him at night. The red eyes were glowing, 
as the entity bent down to look in the window. Then it raised an arm, knocking on the window two times. After knocking, the cowboy dissolved and was gone. Cody has not seen him since and believes the entity merely showed up that day to feed on his stress. There is an interesting proof for the existence of shadow beings. There are no appearances of shadow dogs or shadow birds or shadow cars. Witnesses see only shadow people, such as those that stand in doorways, those that stalk the sidewalks, or those that live under the bed. At least it is said they will not harm those under whose beds they live. I woke up in the middle of the night, I turned over, I was listening and it sounded like voices in the room, one sitting in the chair and one at the, at the foot of the bed. It was saying everything I was thinking, like turn on the light, they said turn on the light. But at this point I realized I really couldn't move. So I was just moving my eyes like that and I saw a foot. I looked up and there was a shadow, like a figure, a woman's figure. It kept getting closer and closer to me. I was, I was terrified, terrified. I jumped up and I said, what the f And then it ran out the room, flailing its arms. And that was some scary ass shit. So that's my story about that. It was crazy, it felt real.